Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of House of Ashes. Um, am I nervous to continue playing? <laughs> Not at all. I don't get scared of anything. <laughs> it's been a little while since I played, guys. And I'm not sure if I'm ready to dive in, but here we go. We're at 159 feet. Death. Doesn't tell me anything, but it sounds very deep. <laughs> oh, don't do that, Nick. I'm not seeing anything come up, but I can hear him. Stay away from like the edge. Way more fun down there than we are up here. Over. As long as they keep the party to themselves, I'm happy. It also sounds like there's a lot of them. Eyes alive. Oh, Nick, you're gonna die, aren't you? You're heal oh, all by yourself. Oh. Pull the perimeter, search the ruins. Oh! Oh! Excuse me? So, one thing. I have been playing some more as well in my free time. I've been playing the movie night mode um, with some friends of mine. And oh my god, is that a lot of fun, guys. Uh, so we're playing with five people in total. That's some max you can play with. And everyone controls one character. Um, I'm Rachel uh, in that playthrough. And then you just pass the controller back and forth. <clears throat> and it's great. Um, but also while playing... I noticed that these uh, premonition slabs, whatever they're called, um, they really show a bit more about the story, about what's going on. Um, so here it seems like we would be fighting of... Maybe a god? I don't know, something evil <laughs> with snake hands. Of course I haven't played further than where we left off, uh, so I have no clue. Yeah, Nick dies, obviously, surrounded by fire. But, so, if you can see, for example, uh, this is Squeeze. So, here you can see that someone is actually getting attacked by something evil. Of course, we see it in the premonition as well, but it's nice that you can also see it on the slab. So, that says a little bit more about it. Surrendered. We've seen this one, right? This is, yeah, that's Salim. So, Thirst. Okay, let's watch it one more time. But it's something evil with legs. You see, it's the legs that have him. And not one of those monster things. It's something else, I think. Maybe something like Joey, possibly. Oh my god. Uh, a lot of this is updated. <laughs> Did we not look at this for a long time? My ID card belonged to an A worker found among the bodies at the bottom of the chasm. I think we did, though, right? Yeah, we did. I don't know why all of this is updated suddenly. Yeah, we read all of this. Let's quickly go through it so that once we find something new. We know exactly where we left off. Oh my god, the sounds in the background. Do you guys hear that? Absolutely terrifying. And it sounds like there are so, so, so many of them. There you go. This one. This one. And then we have the helmets. And then we're all good again. Okay. I guess it's time for me to continue playing. No problem. No problem. Oh, there's a lot happening here. I wish I could walk faster, guys. Oh! Look at that. Oh, it's another one of these letters. Okay. Let's see. 29th of December. Pullman says the radio has been something. Once it's cut off from the outside world. Aline fought into something she's responsible. Personally, I still harbor doubts. Although, without proof, everyone remains a suspect. All I can do now is place sentries something. Sentries in the... Something, 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 if I look at the letter. Okay. 30th of December. Mary's condition worsens. This evening, I awoke from an exhausted daze. To find Lady Bradshaw asking my wife more of her damned questions. Mary was babbling something about winged demons. At this, Bradshaw's eyes lit up and she asked whether Mary could sense them now. Ooh. Gripped by delirium, my wife lashed out, clawing at Bradshaw's chest. So they can sense each other, they know Lady where Bradshaw they are. Withdrew. And I was, after a while, 
able to calm my wife. Hmm. Okay. Lady Bradshaw sounds like a marvelous person. <laughs> Absolutely marvelous. Oh no. Oh, were we on a timer? But there was still so much to do. I think. <gasps> no. You feeling optimistic, Lieutenant? No, no, no. I tell you, Colonel could lose his own ass if it wasn't pinned on him. <laughs> you see our absent friend down there? Salim? Nah, he's gone. We're facing an enemy we know zero about. An enemy of unknown size and their home turf. Sucks to be us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know how long those doors can hold them back. Radio's our best shot. Fix it up, call in the cavalry, even shit up a bit. If there is a transmitter up there, it's gonna have a limited range. One thing Eric did manage to get right about this shit show. He gave us air support. Lord loves a miracle. We get that soon allowed, our birds may be close enough to hear. Oh, but otherwise we wouldn't have help. Oh, okay. Find the radio. I think the radio is that way. So let's go this way. <laughs> let's see. Why does my light keep going off? Oh. Can I please there you go? Find scale locks. Finds catalog one, Van Houten. Van Houten. The increasing number of finds reference the curse of Narim Sin. This sermon on the relationship between gods and kings dates to Ur, the third period of Mesopotamian. Mesopotamian. Uh, Naram Sin is an Akkadian king, grandson of Sargon the Great, founder of the Akkadian Empire. The historical records show him as a pious man who honored the gods. However, the man presented in the cursed stories is very different. The myth uh, mythic Naramsin is a job-like figure, abandoned by the deities. He rages against the gods, then wages war on them. This blasphemy is repaired, re <laughs> repaid with curses, the first of which is an invasion of Gutian mountain tribes. This war causes a famine that destroys Naramsin's people. The moral... Uh, the moral <laughs> I can't today, guys. No. The moral <laughs> is that man must accept suffering, however mysterious and unknowable the gods' intentions. Oh, the sounds. Naram Sin should have endured the trials, no matter how arduous. In picking a fight with the gods, Naram Sin fought a battle he could not win. Okay. What else? All their findings never saw the light of day. Nope. They just stayed buried in the dust. Well, we're finding them now. <laughs> but I kind of doubt it. They will see the light of day now. Related finds. A29. Clay tablet. Undated Akkadian. Cuneiform on one side. This cuneiform is a holy chant to ward away evil spirits. A59. Clay tablet showing arrangement of stars. Undated Mesopotamian. The constellation looks like... Ketus? Cetus? I don't know how to say that, actually. Did these stars have significance to the temple priest? A143. Fragments from a hematite cylinder seal decorated with vertical columns of cuneiform surrounding an image of a large Gutian city. The Akkadians believed that the Gutians were demons. This sign suggests they were more civilized than previously reported. Yeah, they were. <laughs> Poor people. I don't even understand where that notion came from. Like, why did the king think they were demons? It doesn't really make any sense. Like, it's not like they look very different from his own people. Oh, it's a slab. Oh, not the same kind of slab. It's a different slab. Okay. R73. Let's look at the battle tablet. A carved tablet depicting a battle between ancient armies. There's a catalog label on its rear. Yeah, we know these two armies, right? That's from the beginning of the battle, I think. This document reveals that the gods cursed King Naram Sin for waging war on them. And then we have this one. This journal entry reveals that Mary Hodgson ranted about winged demons during her illness. Yeah. And then something more? There's a lot more, actually. Go. Von Houten. New finds for cataloging. Clay jars, Akkadian times four, bone pipe, dagger ornamented, seated nude statue, starglyph, AJ. Notes for paper. Fucking knew it. 
They are vampires, yeah. <laughs> the specimen device uh, biology as we know it. How long have these entities lived beneath our feet? Do they awaken every few centuries to prey on us? The Acadians knew them, if only in ancestral memory. Pazuzu's form is clearly a depiction of them. I theorize that their attacks have informed the folklore of humanity itself. An Ur myth that permeates across cultures. The winged demon, the horn setter, the minotaur, the vampire. There you go. Why the minotaur though? I wanted to say like, oh, can we take that hammer as a weapon? But I mean, I guess we have guns. <laughs> I, I guess the hammer is not going to do much more for us than the gun is. This reminds me of a scene in Man of Madan where we also like take a mug of of a paper. Patient history name Mary, age something, sex something, well we know she's female. 30th of December, 02, temperature 100.5 Fahrenheit, sweating, 8 ounces saline. I don't know, I don't know what the temperature is in Fahrenheit guys, <laughs> please. <laughs> um, 0330, temperature 100.7, pulse 152, subject awake not lucid. 11 o'clock, temperature 100 fa uh, 101 Fahrenheit, subject sweating and jundiced? Never heard of that before. Not lucid. Antipyretics have had no effect. Oh my god, I'm stumbling over words today. 1215, temperature 101, pulse 165. Brief lucidity. Says she has visions of the darkness and that she can taste the color red. Okay. Slips into unconsciousness. One. Wake screams about monsters in the dark, increasingly jaundiced and feverish. Uh, 18, temperature 100.9, it's going down. Pulse still rapid, about 150, sleeping. Note, two days since exposure to the entity. Okay. And that's great, after that it stops. <laughs> that's very uplifting. Hopefully we've had everything here. Let's see for a second. Our, uh, we're pretty okay with everyone. We're actually pretty good with Salim. Only Eric, we don't have anything changed, basically. Let's see, we have two new secrets here. These notes speculate that sightings of the creatures may have inspired mythological beings from Pazuzu through to modern vampires. If true, the creatures have preyed upon humans for millennia. Yeah. These notes describe the shocking symptoms of an unknown and deadly infection. It seems that exposure to the creatures can cause severe sickness. Yeah, but I wonder like how much exposure. Does it need to be the bites? Or can it be less than that since... Oh, okay, we're gonna climb the stairs. It's gonna take a while. Because um, we also read a note, right? I think as Rachel, I think when we were all the way down, something about... Um, the teeth, but how like some exposure to it I, I read it that way at least, can already be bad. At least that's how I understood it, but I'm not sure if that's true. No, so we can't go that way, okay. Well, I guess then we're gonna make our way towards the radio. But yeah, so I wonder, do they actually need to get bitten? Or just being near the creatures, is that bad enough already? I don't know. Let me look at our bearings for a second. Is any of that updated? No. So, Rachel's honest with the clear reason she became ill, clear son to the chasm, yeah, you know that. Until death, Rachel told Eric that there was someone else, uh, Eric cut Rachel loose, so I'm like, my bad. Semper Fi, Selim saw Jason spare the shepherd, Selim choose, chose not to shoot Jason. Ultraviolet, Selim warned Eric about the creature's sunlight to sensitivity, Eric burned one of the creatures with the UV one during an autopsy, yeah, whoops. Eric agreed to bring close air support, so that one has no updates yet, but it might help us out. Ancient one, uh, Balatha was the last to die in the temple. Oh yeah, that one hasn't been updated much. Nick found Joey's medical kit in the tunnels. Oh yeah. Now we still have one completely unknown bearing, guys. Don't even know what that's gonna be. So I think we did everything behind us there. Let's go this way. Oh, can you please? There we go. We did that one as well, right? That's the paper we found. That ends radio time, but let's see over here first. There you go. Oh, they had a whole map? Hmm. Fake dig site. Oh, okay. Clever fuckers. They set up a fake dig site to draw off grave robbers. They knew whatever was down here, 
was pretty special. Yeah, but, I mean, not so clever in the end, right? I mean, no, they probably died without any help. Anything else? So, Horns of Alexander, Well of Memory, Boron, maybe? I don't know. Dig Site? And the Zagreus Mountains, and then Fake Dig Site. Can we go this way? No, not really. Let's see... There we go. We still have quite some secrets to go, actually, guys. I wonder how close we are to the end. This map shows the location of a fake dig near the temple excavation. Nobody knew the archaeologists were here. Yeah, I mean, that that just probably ended up being their death sentence, right? I guess we're continuing. I'm gonna need a hand to get this up and running. Hopefully, we found everything. Oh, I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> that thing looks like it was sabotaged. How would they do that? Yeah, but a lot seems sabotaged, yeah, right? Fall back if anything moves out here. It's safer inside. Okay. I'm good with that. No shame in running. Thank you. Good job, Sergeant. Are we gonna have a chance to tell him? Those things will kill you, Sergeant. <laughs> yeah, like smoking is the biggest threat to my life. <laughs> Fuck that little lighter. Oh. What's good? Oh. Uh -huh. Bearing update. Eric cut Rachel to save his own life. Eric figured out that Rachel was seeing Nick. There you go. Is he is he gonna let Nick die now if something happens? I wanted to tell him. I wanted to tell him, but I haven't had a chance. I haven't had the option. It's just a ghost signal. I wanted to be honest. The radio picks up a faint signal. It's just ghost, man. So fix that transmitter. If we can establish a signal and contact CENTCOM, then we're one step closer to home. I don't know, man. I'm no technician. If Merwin was here, though, he could fix it. Whoops. No shit. <laughs> Whoops. <Braces> suck. <laughs> My bad. So maybe we only would have been able to do this if we had kept Merwin alive. Dark. Salim, aguanta. Shh. How more are you being? Bearing updated. Salim chose not to shoot Jason. Salim escaped the Americans and reunited with Dar. Oh, could he also not have escaped them and stayed a prisoner? Or maybe stayed on their side? Oh, please don't attack them. I really don't like Dar. Come on, Salim. You're the good guy here. No more blood. Dar maybe hasn't seen the creatures yet. Yeah. I don't know if Dar has seen them. Yeah, he hasn't. Okay. Salim, Ismani, Arguk Ismani, Come on, listen to him! Or die, you can also die. Those are your options. Listen to him or die. Oh. I'll stay here and rot. No, thank you. Oh, but I don't. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Please don't destroy the radio. Please don't destroy the radio. Uh oh. Yeah, they come to sound. They come to sound. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god. Oh! I'm ready for some quick time events. My hands are still cold, though. If I've got to mash buttons, I'm screwed. Colonel, get back inside the temple. I'm staying here. I need you on the cameras in case we get flanked. I got this. Lieutenant, I. I said I got this. Go! Come on, Eric, go, go, go! 
Oh god, do I feel stressed right now? Holy shit. Ah! Oh! But Nick doesn't know what he's doing. Like, Nick is just tinkering on a bit. Oh, see? Oh no, Dar shot it. Well, at least it shut up. Oh god, but the guns aren't helping, guys. No sounds, no sounds. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for whatever I need to do. Oh god, guys. We're gonna die, die, die. Oh, Celine! Don't do it. Don't move. Oh, come on, Celine. Don't do it. We're Nick, right? I think we're Nick still. Fuck this guy. Does he not hear it? Like, does Dar not hear all the screams? Yeah, exactly! What do you think it is? You think it's just the, the natural cave sounds? Oh my god, you don't, moron. Don't even think about it. We need to flank him. The only way we're gonna get rid of this cloud. Okay. I'll flank. I flanked before. I flanked a vampire before. Oh, there we go. I barely saw him. Okay, got him. Okay, somewhere close to the pillar. And I need to shoot him, otherwise Jason's gonna die, isn't he? Okay, I really need to pay attention. Around the pillar, somewhere. Oh, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Somewhere near the pillar. Still. Wrong button! Wrong button! Oh my god! That took me off guard! I was shooting! Oh, don't make me do quick time events now. Okay, still alive for now. Ah! No, Ooh. wrong button again! Jesus Christ! Oh, fuck. Oh god. Oh no. What is wrong with you? Oh my god. Please, please don't let them die. I tried so hard the whole game. Uh, and nothing bad has happened yet. Yet. I guess I could have killed them now, but I messed because I messed up. We didn't manage to. I guess that's my punishment. I messed up twice, guys. Twice. Oh no. I just panic press Y twice in a row. The first time I had to press X, second time A, and both times I pressed Y. <laughs> I'm ready to mash. Oh, right. Rachel! They got any sense, they'll stay back. <gasps> Is Rachel coming up now? Wait! Oh my god. Rachel! Rachel? Oh my god. You're alive? Holy shit, Rachel. Any doubt, Marine? Oh my god. Well, we're doing this in front of Eric. Let's see what that means for us. Rachel survived her fall and returned to the group. Eric figured out that Rachel was seeing Nick. Well, we knew that. Uh, Rachel's director was on Rachel's. I mean, what was the update? Rachel survived, survived her fall and returned to the group. Oh, okay. That was it. Okay. Where's Eric? Rach? I'm not sure she's so happy to see him right now. I'm so sorry. Uh, I mean, I liked them together. You followed climbing protocol. You had no other choice but to cut the rope. I liked them together. We, discuss it. we both would have died. You have to understand that. <clears throat> Are we good? Hmm. Tim, isn't it? 
I understand you're not the brightest, Nick, but even you must know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no! <laughs> You've been fucking him, haven't you? <laughs> oh. Not the time and place for this, guys. That's the best you got. I, mean, I tried to be honest. Stop it. I know it's him, Rach. I know. Yeah, I mean, we told you there you was someone step else. Off before I start swinging. Colonel or no Colonel? Don't, Nick. Um. That like, I tried to hold on? I don't know, but that sounds a bit I weird, but I'm gonna go Eric. for it. I really did. I'm sorry. Ugh. Always loyal. Always loyal, huh? You weren't so loyal when you cut the rope. It's good to see you, Rachel. Thought we'd lost you. Who else made it through? It ain't good. Merwin's gone. Those things. They got Joey. Clarice. What is it? Uh, yeah. I mean, we gotta tell them, right? Clarice was infected. Those things, I don't know how. They got inside her. We tried to make it back up here, but... She fell to her death. One thing I've learned about this place, the dead don't stay that Yeah, way. no way she's dead dead, right? I can't imagine she is. Armed? Sure hey. every shot counts. <laughs> but I, we only need the guns against Dar, I guess. But I guess Dar is really gonna be a problem. Because I didn't get to kill him this time. You can't lose the generator. We're blind without it. I need help. We can't let any of those things through. Oh god, I don't know what to do. I don't know what decision to make. I don't care what they're about. I was way too stressed to understand that joke. I've got the generator running. Oh, they're everywhere. Fuck, that's all we need. Connection lost. Great. Does she understand now? Because she doesn't know about the sunlight and the stake through the heart and... Oh my god. We're here right now? Okay. Fuck! Oh, these things really have a hard on for getting in here! We need that generator running now or we're all screwed! Yeah, that's what we need. Oh. Freak, come on! We need the light! Get it! Get the light! Okay! Got it! Okay! Got it! Woo! Things are worse than sewer rats. <laughs> yeah, a little bit worse. We're gonna be Rachel again, aren't we? Yep. Oh, I need to press it once. I thought I had to. Oh no. I thought I had to. I switched fingers. I thought I had to mesh. Oh no, what now? The gun is broken, isn't it? Any objections? These quick time events are hard, guys. I feel like they're way harder than the other games. Which I guess is good, but I suck. Come on, come on. There's gotta be something. Wait! Yes! Okay, we can make for the catacombs! We need to go down! 
In case you missed it, that ain't the way out. It's either that or we die where we stand. Everyone move to the east gate! We didn't miss to contact air support. I wonder why. I wonder what I did wrong for that. Oh my god, that's a lot of them. Let's fire. This big thing. Headstrong we are. This wasn't one of your better ATS reach. Yeah, I knew it was broken, I guess. Fuck. Yeah. Now we're talking. Okay. Okay, this gun is no joke. Holy shit. Rachel, you're awesome! Team you unlocked che Chekhov's gun? Chekhov's gun, yeah. Oh my god, Rachel. Oh god. They said nothing about fire. They're oh. We're okay with fire though, right? I mean, not okay, okay, but it's not the same as sunlight, or is it? Yeah, it is! Maybe all fire they don't like. Now, Rachel. Hey, Rachel's here as well. I'm still thinking about the mine premonition. Rachel didn't get blown up. That's good, I guess. I guess that's good. Maybe otherwise she would have died? Well, people aren't happy, but they're all still alive, right? For now? But what if it's like the other games that they all die in the end if I made the wrong decisions earlier on? Just like Little Hope. Can you hear them? Blast must have cut us off. We should keep moving. Hey guys, I think we're gonna end the episode there. <laughs> I screwed up so much. I'm so sorry. I'll do better. I promise. I promise. I promise. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Won't you spare me over to another year?